Hello and welcome. Just thought I would uh, share with you my latest eBay acquisition, a Synad meter used to assist in the alignment of receivers. But of course, you all knew that, otherwise you wouldn't be here. So, I got a good deal on this. I've been uh, waiting for something to pop up in eBay for a while. That was uh, not crazy. So I got this for uh, under $40 shipped. Status is unknown. Uh, it was plugged in and said operational, but further than that, you know, your typical eBay description. So I rolled the dice and uh, here it is now. So it cleaned up pretty good. You know, it's a, it's a 70s box. You know, this is all solid metal construction. Uh, according to the uh, catalog of the Helper Instrument Company, which put these out, I think for uh, 20 years or so, this one doesn't even make it in the catalog. It uh, doesn't have a model type. The uh, catalog starts with uh, a, a 101 Sinatra. So uh, I think this predates all of those. Let me just turn this around here and show you what's on the back. Looking down there, you know, that's, there's a serial number. 2573. So this probably was part of the uh, the initial run of the uh, product that these guys uh, started to uh, put out and uh, get known for. I'm not sure if this is a factory or somebody uh, bolted that on. So some uh, crappy 9-volt uh, lead, I'll, uh, I'll fix that up. And uh, looking at our cables here, do have a power lead. And then this one here is the uh, leads that you hook up to the speaker. So before I take it down to the bench, I uh, want to pop those uh, screws and uh, let's take a look at the innards of this unit here. Okay, I've got it uh, taken apart as uh, much as one can do. I uh, found out that uh, you don't remove the screws on the back. You remove the screws at the bottom. That's where the, uh, the feet are. So you take those screws off, and then this piece just slides out. So looking at our insides there, nice and clean, no uh, rat's nests in there. Couple ICs. I uh, think I was looking at the schematic, I think those are... Uh, op amps, couple there, uh, 
these uh, potentiometers here are used to uh, align this unit. Seemed uh, fairly straightforward in that. This information that uh, I'm spewing here is just stuff that I got from the, uh, the documentation I found online. I will uh, include uh, a link in the notes below and you can easily download that PDF and get all the details on this unit. So there are some uh, axial electrolytics in there as well too, so I'm assuming this device is built in the 70s. So those electrolytics are uh, you know, close to 50 years old. I may have to replace uh, them. We'll, uh, we'll see how it performs on the bench. So there you have it. Nice sunny day here, sitting out on the picnic table, checking out some electronics. This uh, display on the meter here looks like it's a little pitted. I'm hoping that uh, I'll have to take that off and hopefully that uh, cleans up well. Also noticed that uh, being that this is one of the initial units that they built that uh, we have a three position switch here of AC off and battery so this thing is initially designed to work on battery looking at any pictures found online uh, basically just had AC on and off it looks like this battery on option and a battery hookup is something they uh, removed okay let's uh, go to my uh, workbench and see how it performs. Okay, the first thing to do is to check the calibration on this unit. And looking at the instruction manual here on this, they say for calibration check, use a 2000 Hertz audio source and I should get the meter deflect over to the far right hand side. And varying the voltage from 10 millivolts to 4.2 shouldn't be any variance. So let's do that. I have my source. 2000 Hertz, 2 volts, peak to peak so let me just hook that up to the sign ad meter here and let's see what we get he hooked up the leads and uh, turned off the scope that's what all that uh, noise was about and uh, we can see I do have some deflection here And that neat needle here should be maybe just a little to the left uh, according to the manual here. Should be just to the right of the scale. So it's... Uh, just a little off. Okay, I can tweak that a little bit and see what happens. You know, this thing is probably 30, 40 years old. But uh, overall, uh, that seems like a good start. Okay, checking the uh, instruction manual here. So that's 2000 hertz.
So the next step would be change that 2000 to a 1000 hertz source. And the meter should go to the black portion at the left of the scale. Let me uh, change that to a thousand hertz. One thousand hertz source hooked up. And this should be over there. According to this 1000 hertz source adjust the source to 1 volt RMS should go into the black portion at the left of the scale adjust if not adjust R32 or R33 this supposed to be over here. So let me see what adjustments I can make here. That seems like that's the furthest left deflection I can get. I need to get that needle to the left. 